Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about the basic things that you need to consider when you're choosing a foundation. If you are a returning sub, welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome honey. I hope you are here to stay. So like I've already said, we're talking about the things that you really need to consider when you're choosing a foundation. I feel like these are some of the things that have been, been neglected and people t uh, tend to not talk about them. Huh? Like a lot of us are now just buying foundations for the sake of buying but we don't really get to consider such things, you know. A foundation may look good on you, but it might not be suitable for your skin type. So I guess that's one of the things that a lot of us have neglected and it really needs to be rectified. So, this <laughs> is gonna be sort of like a series. Uh, depending on how long the video will be, I will have to sort of like maybe cut it into parts. But if the video is short, then I will have to upload like the whole of it. So if it happens that I don't cover it like in this video, then it's gonna be a part two. So first thing first that you really need to consider when you're choosing a foundation is um, the skin type. Like we have four skin types. We have the oily, we have dry skin, we have normal skin, we have a combination skin. And oily skin, it's, those skins that tend to produce like a heightened oil like a whole lot of oil it produced quite a lot of sebum and this is sort of like some oily waxy substance in your face that tend to sort of like moisturize your face and also protect your face and also sort of like coat your face so those are the people that have oily skin and they tend to have sort of like visible pores like pores that you can actually spot like maybe even from a little bit far so those are people with uh, oily skin and the right term for that it's the scientific term for that it's seborrhea so we have our dry skin people these are the people that produce less uh, sebum compared to the normal skin type they produce um, a less of it instead and they tend to have sort of like tidy face and Sometimes their skins can tend to look sort of like ashy if you don't much moisturize it. So we have our normal skin. These are the people who their faces are their face are sort of like balanced. They don't produce too much oil, and also they don't produce less. But everything in their face is actually balanced. And then we have our combination skin type of which it's people who tend to get oily in the T zone area like you usually get oily in your forehead and also in your nose those are people with combination skin type I know that some of us we don't really know this and I hope this will help you quite a lot to determine what is your skin type I know for some other people it's very easy to see especially when you are an oily skin person and also when you are sort of like a dry skin person but the normal and the combination one can be a little bit tricky so yeah those are our four skin types and of which you really need to know your skin type before choosing a foundation this will help you pick up the type of foundation secondly we are going to talk about the types of foundation we have quite a lot of them of which today Okay, let me just say we have four of them because the rest of them are actually sub under this four. We have our Shia, we have our Satin, we have our Jewy, we have our Matte. So, I want to talk about the Jewy first. The Jewy is sort of like advised or suitable for people with dry skin because it sort of like gives your face that glowy skin finish or that glowy look that if you have sort of like moisturize your skin it was gonna look like so it gives you a look that finish that sense to say this one moisturize their skin so it sort of like help you uh sort of like keep up with the oil in your face since you sort of like produce less so that jewelry foundation is sort of like suitable for people with a uh, dry skin and then we have our shea uh so yeah, um, the foundation is those like our baby creams our cc creams those are sort of like um sort of like they give you that natural sort of like final look but they tend not to cover you know the spots in your face and all that so guys let me go back to jewelry a little bit jewelry is not 
for people who are prone to acne. If you know that you are an oily skin person, don't use Chewy because it will not do you any justice. It will only sort of like increase the oil in your face and it being increased you end up having acne i guess this is one of the reasons a lot of people complain about makeup giving them uh sort of like uh acne like pimples people complain like you know i did that foundation gave me some sort of like pimples and stuff and stuff and stuff and the things goes on and on and on so you really need to know your skin type and the kind of foundation that you really need to pick so jewelry is for people with dry skin okay let's talk about satin satin is the mixture of both jewelry and matte and this is suitable for people with combination skin because they don't produce so much oil or too much oil they just don't get to sort of like get sweaty in their forehead and also then then it's like the tea is on area so that's satin for us and then let's talk about matte matte sort of like um, a matte foundation it mattifies your face and it sort of like have a minimum transfer and it's suitable for people with oily skin because it tends to sort of like absorb the oil and hold it for some time because of the foundation and hold it for some time and there will be sort of like maybe a minimum production of oil in your face if you use uh, that mat other than you using a dew foundation and then the next thing you have your acne and other things and stuff of which that's what we don't want so we have our mat and other that we also have well sort of like um our semi mat of which also is suitable for um people who are sort of like combination of both because it will also mattify the areas where you tend to become oily and also get sweaty so yeah those are the things so when it comes to setting it's also sort of like since it's a mixture of chewy and matte it's sort of like tend to be very heavy but now they are sort of like producing ones which are lightweight but most of them they tend to feel heavy in your face so that's satin 